The future of nature and of humanity depends on the actions of the global community over the next uh, decade. Never has the urgency been as great, the consequences of failure as uh, dire. The GEF is undeterred and will continue to work ambitiously with countries to meet these challenges uh, to 2030 and beyond. It's increasingly evident that we need to protect 30% of our planet and be nature positive by 2030 if we are to achieve the 1.5 degree climate target. And at the same time, we need to be on track with the 1.5 degree target if we are to achieve the goal of protecting 30% of our planet by 2030. The creation of COVID-19 vaccines in record time is a heartening example of what is possible when the global community works together, invests in and depends on science, and stays focused on a high impact goal. Also, the conservation of nature is a more complex endeavor. Our survival ultimately depends on our success in this uh, task. The International Day of Biodiversity compels each one of us to be part of the solution now and into the future. We must reorient our understanding of nature as an externality to the economy to an, an acknowledgement that the economy is embedded in nature and reliant on its uh, sustainable management as an asset. Biodiversity enables nature to be productive, resilient, and adaptable. GEF investment in biodiversity is predicated on the assumption that biodiversity is a shared societal asset that requires a management approach that is uh, multi-sectoral in nature and that acknowledge the importance of nature to human well-being. Also, that any solution to the biodiversity crisis requires the participation of all stakeholders in society, most notably indigenous people and local communities, women, youth, as well as the private sector. Thus, on the International Day on Biodiversity, the GEF recommits to our mission and asks others uh, to join with us in helping realize our vision of living in harmony with nature. Thank you so much.